Hi there, stranger. If you, like me, thought that making an, uh, a USB head keyboard out of your Arduino Uno would be a cool idea, and uh, so you googled it, and then you read some things, and you read this, uh, this, and it says uh, you need to do this firmware update thing, and, and, and here's a link, and you click that link, and... Uh, and you read all of this, you checked where you needed to update the firmware, and you, as me, saw that you didn't, because you have the revision 0001 already, uh, so it, you didn't need to do any of this. But then you go to this program, the chip part, and it says, Windows, use Flip to upload the hex to your board. And, well, that doesn't say too much. We have... They have the the programmer here, which is nice, and this is this is Flip, the uh, the programmer itself. But probably, or maybe you like me, had uh, this message appear when you tried to click this button to connect via USB to the board itself after you've selected the AT Mega sixteen U two for the, in my case, an Arduino Uno Revision 3. Uh, you selected this uh, USB thing and you got an error. Now, I fixed this error and I tried to get the error back, but unfortunately it, it won't reappear. So we'll just pretend I got an error now and I'll redo the steps I took to ensure that the error went away. In the device manager on your computer, you will have to <laughs> excuse my my Windows is in Swedish because I'm well I'm I'm from Sweden, um, but this is the device manager. You know how to open this. Uh, uh, the uh, if you get this error, your uh, Arduino will most probably be uh, an unknown uh, an unknown device. Uh, if you get the properties of an unknown device and you check the hardware ID I can I can see a USB vid it says I'm revision 0000, 000. Uh, this makes me know since I have several unknown devices I, I just checked this to see whether which one was my actual Arduino before I forced the drivers on it which is what we're gonna do to solve the issue of the uh, atlib usb dfu dot dll not being found in the flip program folder on uh, well by default c program x86 atml flip there is a folder named usb and in here there is a driver we will force this driver onto our arduino so in this properties uh, window for the unknown unit we will click update driver or well and then we'll choose a driver which is already on our computer we will we will choose from a list and here we'll just say next and we'll say from a disk and we will go to the install folder folder of uh, of flip and here is a usb and a driver and if we open this driver it said AT Mega 16U2. Next. It will install this driver in a somewhat reasonable fashion. You can see it twitching in the background. It's still an unknown unit. But it's working on it. It's working on it. There you go. It has installed. If you close this bad boy up, close it, and then you should have an, an Atmel USB device, which is an AT Mega 16 U2. In my case, at least, for the UNO board. And just double check that I have this, and then I can select USB, and when I click open, it actually works. Uh, now you can uh, load your hex files, so you can have your fantastic keyboard uh, things. Uh, I actually got it to work, so it actually works. It actually works. I'll uh, I'll probably have some links in the description of this video, and uh, 
Well, that's that's it. Happy flashing. <laughs>